Erling Haaland is coming to the Premier League next year. After Leo Messi, everything can happen. It's HP like the source and I'm back with another assumptions, but this one is bigger. We're back with the goal. I'm not talking about Cristiano, not Leo. We're talking about Fabrizio Romano. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the UM channel for more content so you can see more of my beautiful, stunning face. Here we go! So, my good friend Fabrizio, these are the biggest assumptions about you from the people out there, and you need to tell us whether they're true or not. Are you ready? Let's do it. I'm ready, I'm ready, here we go. Okay, here we go, my guy, here we go. All right, you never sleep during the transfer window. This is absolutely true. Wow, so, so how many hours of the night are you awake? It depends by the night. Sometimes I'm, I'm sleeping from 5 a.m. till 9 or 10 a.m. I never sleep in before 5 a.m. during the window. When the window closed, did you get like three days sleep in a row or did you? No, 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 no. <laughs> but I sleep like from 3 or 4 till 11. Yes, it's more normal. It's eight hours. So normal life is also something important. But during the window is five or four hours. Okay, cool. Another one is you say, here we go before you take a it's true. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I always say here we go. <laughs> this was the craziest transfer window you've ever covered. You had players like Sancho, Grealish, Lukaku, Ronaldo, Messi, huge moves everywhere. Was this the biggest one? Absolutely, yes. 100% true. Uh, you mentioned many, but we are missing Varane, Griezmann names. That is incredible because we have so big names and sometimes we forget about players like, as I said, Saul, Griezmann, Varane. We had many and many, Sergio Ramos, Hakimi, Veinaldum. If we had this name in another window, they were the biggest stars and they are yeah. not even the biggest stars now because we had Ronaldo, Messi. What a summer we had was incredible and I think would be historical, absolutely. 100% and you was part of that. So you're part of history. Thank you. The Last time you went on holiday, Cristiano was at Manchester United the first time. Mm, false. I want to be honest. I want to be honest. False, <laughs> false, false. I had an holiday before the window, but I was with my friends and I had updates on the managers because it was the manager's week. And I had the update on Zinedine Zidane leaving Real Madrid. The exclusive news while I was play, playing football with my friends, 11 p.m. Imagine how my holidays are. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted that one. That's the one you wanted. Yes. You're actually a Watford fan. Yes, yes, I am, Mr. Why? Of all the teams in England, why are you a Watford fan? Because I was watching the famous match Watford Leicester with Manuel Almunia saving the penalty and Troy Dini scoring the late goal was something incredible. I started to have some contacts at Watford because they had Italian, they have Italian ownership, so it was yes. easier for me to have some contacts, uh, also with some players. So some of these players invited me at the stadium until about 10 years ago, 9 years ago. And then I started to play FIFA Football Manager always with Watford. So yes, I'm a Watford fan. Breaking a transfer is like the Champions League final for you yes yeah. how important is that what would you get out of that because i see it, nobody believes a transfer until fabrizio romano has <laughs> put it out there no I, I i don't care about to be honest about the pressure from outside mm. because i put the biggest pressure on myself is from it's directly for myself uh, because i always want to to do the best for, for, for myself and for people that are following me the biggest secrets of transfer market is about mm, the relationship between journalists and followers it's not just about the number of people it's about how they trust you and so for me every day i tell myself your mission is to be accurate i want to give the best Best every single day. You are the best, honestly. Thank you, thank you. Thank there we you. go for the next one. <laughs> Don't let that go of your head. All right, <laughs> Ronaldo to Manchester United was the biggest here we go you've reported on. Yes, together with Messi, to be honest, yes. Did you believe it when it was happening, when you found out that this was going to happen? Yes, because uh, my feeling during the three or four days of negotiation between Ronaldo and Manchester City, and they were not closing the deal, and they were not agreeing on even on personal terms, so they were still missing something before closing the deal with Juventus and with Cristiano. I was feeling that something strange was going to happen, because if you want to sign a player like Ronaldo, in in two days you're gonna complete everything. Look at Man United, in 24 hours they complete the deal. Man City were not so quick and the message was something strange is happening. I just wanna say to the camera, ha <laughs> Man City, you messed up. Anyway, Messi to PSG was the here we go that shocked you the most. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and I think it will be for many and many years because Leo Messi was in Barcelona with his father to sign the contract and five hours later he was leaving the club. Mm -hmm. Incredible, really, really incredible. And then three days later he was in Paris with the number, with a, with a shirt of, of Paris Saint-Germain, so it's something shocking. Sancho to Manchester United was the here we go you were most excited about because it took so long. 
Yes, I won't say the most excited because I have many and I won't say the first one, so I say false for this one. Yeah. But I was really excited, yes, maybe not in the first position, but really excited because I was happy for my United fans. They were waiting for more than one year for a single player, every day asking and waiting and asking and waiting. So when you say, okay, finally, here we go, it's done. It was more about the fans than for me. It was for them. I was happy for them. Your most used app is Uber Eats. Not true. Okay, so, really so are you a chef? Because I feel like you are. No, 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 I'm not a chef, but I have my friends here in the area, in Milano, uh, yeah. with, with the bar, with the restaurant, so I like to go outside, to be honest. What's a Fabrizio Romano meal? It depends. I am with junk food sometimes, to be honest, so I'm not always <laughs> the best one. But some pizza, pizza during the window are helping, because, you know, it's easy, 10 minutes, you go eat and go back. Yeah. Another assumption we have here is you've never watched Netflix in your life. Never. never. <laughs> one, one time with one girl, yes, I spent like watching a documentary or something like this. So what, what do you do when you're not working? I like watching documentaries, but not on Netflix because I don't like series because I like to, to see something real, you know? Yeah, yeah, I prefer yeah, yeah. looking at something real, something really happened to, to learn something and not to see something that is not really happened. So when I have free time, I like to watch this kind of, of stuff more than series. Declan Rice will be a Manchester United player next season. I don't know yet. Ooh. I don't know yet. It's a possibility. For possibility? United, for Chelsea. We love possibilities. It's a possibility, but nothing advanced yet. Erling Haaland is coming to the Premier League next year. Also, this one is a possibility, but I am absolutely not sure. You know why? Because this boy, sometimes in football, we are used to see players only picking next club about money. And of course, he's caring of money. I'm not going to say that he's not like this. Contract is important, money are important. But Holland always decided in his career about the project. He had the chance of joining Juventus four years ago and he said, no, I go to Salzburg because in this moment it's the best way for me. He had the chance of joining Man United and he said, no, I go to Borussia Dortmund because I want to be starter, I want to play all the matches and to be the star. So he's always speaking about the project. So September, October is not the right moment to decide. He needs to wait like March, April to see what is the situation of single clubs and then decide because he's like a free agent. When you have this kind of clothes, you're like a free agent, you can decide. And so I think it will be an incredible race for Erling Bola. Jude Bellingham is the best young player in the world. Mm, yes, true. I love this player. I really love this player. I think he's impressive. And sometimes we forget that he's born in 2003. Mm. <laughs> so he's incredible. And he's playing in Euros, Champions League, semi-finals or quarter-finals. He's a player for all competitions. Incredible player. You've got George Mendes on speed now. Mm, not true. <laughs> <laughs> How, how many contacts do you have in your phone? Like I don't know. I don't know. Always a good question, but I never know the answer. I don't know how many they are. It's crazy. I prefer not to count and to see how many they are because it means that my life is so better not to, not to count. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go an hour without speaking to your co-host, Francesco. Um, this is true. This is true. How, how do you know Francesco? Yes, I was. it was working because he was working for another journal here in the city in Milano years ago. It was five years ago. And we started to be friends to go out together. Then one day I told him, okay, let's work together. You speak English, so let's do something together. He's doing different kind of journalism. He's not transfer journalist, but it's more, you know, entertaining. So it's a bit different. And so it was a perfect match. So we are good friends before being, before working together. You have a hundred identical white shirts in your wardrobe. I have white and black. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I do, I do. And finally, anything can happen in football. Yes, absolutely true. After Leo Messi, Everything can happen. But imagine that Barcelona had the announcement to say in the evening, 8 p.m., scheduled on all social media websites to say Messi is staying five years contract, Messi will be Barcelona player for the next five years. So everything was in place and he signed for Paris Saint-Germain. And we're talking about Leo Messi, not a young player from the academy. Mm. So it means that everything can happen in football, everything. Anything can happen, like Manchester United can win the Champions League. <laughs> That wasn't a joke. You shouldn't have laughed, Fabrizio. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Fabrizio Romano, for taking part of Assumptions, a good friend of the channel, a good friend of mine. See you later. Ciao. Thank you. Here we go.